So I'm making this video so that I can kind of explain as we move into level two, what, um, what it's going to look like from a student's perspective. Um, and to be brutally honest, it's not gonna look a whole lot different. Um, I will still be pushing out an entire week's worth of um, assignments, uh, assessments, videos, everything will go into Schoology and be posted Monday morning at eight as usual. There will be um, due dates s scattered through the week as usual. The only difference would be for those of you that are actually on campus, you'll be able to ask me questions in person. So my period that you have with me um, will just sort of be a tutorial. Um, come with your questions, come with your Chromebooks, come with headphones in case you need to watch videos. Um, for those of you that are at home, it's gonna be exactly the same. It's not going to change. So on the screen, you're gonna see a calendar for um, the 28th of September through the 9th of October. Um, notice that the different groups kind of get shifted during the ninth week. Um, actually, the only group that's affected is group D um, because they want the teachers to have Friday, October 9th in order to finalize grades for the first quarter. So if you happen to be in group D, just kind of notice that your day of attendance does shift for one week only. Zooms will be changing. Um, up till now, you've been doing them by appointment only. Um, the way it's going to work now is during whatever class period you're in. So let's just say you're in first period. Um, I will turn Zoom on at 9.15, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, and if you have a question, you can just jump on and, and ask during that hour only. Um, I realize some of you aren't even waking up that early. You're going to have to get up early if you want to ask a question of me. Um, some of you are working. Um, you don't have to come on to Zoom during your designated day, but you can come on anytime during the week. So again, period one has a certain time period, period three has a certain time period, period five has a certain time period. So you can just get on, the code will be the same. I will send out that code as well. Um, so I'll actually be sort of more available to you. It just may be not the same time slot that you previously had liked. So I have been told by um, administration that when you arrive on campus, and again, this is for those of you that are actually coming back onto campus, um, there will be four different stations where you're getting your temperatures checked before you can even set foot into a classroom. Um, when they figure out that you don't have a fever and that you're okay to be there, they're gonna give you a ticket um, and I will have to take the ticket um, or you'll have to show me the ticket at the door before I can even let you in. So here's what my classroom looks like. Um, for those of you that are coming back, you can see that the desks are in groups of three, um, along with these really oh so lovely stickers on them. Um, this is so that every period has its own color code. So let's say you are in my first period, you'll probably be seated in the pink desks, all right? And they are all very, very distance apart. They're at least six feet apart from each other. Um, and then uh, period two, or, or excuse me, period three, because we're in odds, period three, we'll sit in the blues, period five, we'll sit in the greens, um, and then every day they will be disinfected in between. All right, and the very last thing um, is that students that are on campus will have to have masks on the entire time they are on campus, whether they are in a classroom, walking through the halls, going to the restroom, um, the only time you get to take them off is if you are staying and eating lunch.